Today we are at Adelaide Botanic Garden which is 50 hectare public garden at the northeast corner of the Adelaide city center. It opened to the general public on 4th October 1857 so it has a lot of history behind it. So let's get started. This is a beautiful quote by D.H. Lawrence. Water is H2O, hydrogen two parts, oxygen one. But there is also a third thing that makes it water and nobody knows what it is. Think about it. And this is a cascade, a glass sculpture, which is massive 12 ton in the shape of cascading wave. And it was commissioned for the World Expo in Brisbane in 1988. We are entering by Centennial Conservatory. It was built in 1988 and it is designed by a South Australian architect. It is the largest single span conservatory in the Southern Hemisphere. Inside this bicentennial conservatory, we will find a lush display of lowland rainforest plants from northern Australia, Papua New Guinea, Indonesia and the nearby Pacific Islands. Many of these plants are at risk or endangered in their natural habitats. Shortly after the conservatory was opened, it received a Royal Australian Institute of Architects Award of Merit. More recently, it was rated the ninth best building in Australia and it also received the Award for Enduring Architecture in South Australia in 2014 and also became the youngest building in South Australia to receive heritage listing in 2014.
This is Amazon Water Lily Pavilion. It was built in 2007 and its design is inspired by lilies, uh, giant leaves. On 1st January 2008, the water lily blossomed for the first time in its new home. Best time to see the Amazonica water lily flower is between September and April, but even then you have to be quick. They only last 48 hours or so. These flowers can grow up to 40 cm and their lily pads up to 2 meters in diameter. We are entering Santos Museum of Economic Botany. The museum showcases countless plants and their various uses with a focus on minimizing waste. It is last of its kind in the world. The Santos Museum of Economic Botany is home to an amazing permanent collection, much of which dates back to the original museum display 130 years ago. Wow, this building looks so majestic. It is called Palm House. Uh, Palm House is uh, actually a restored uh, Victorian glass house which was imported from Bremen, Germany in 1875. It is thought to be the only one of its kind still in existence. The Palm House was designed by a German architect and the sophisticated engineering techniques used in its construction make it a benchmark in glass house design.
if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching